Well, I'll tell you right now, her and I made a connection over Skype, then we made an even bigger connection in person, and now we're making even a bigger uh, connection through Zoom over here like this because we're cooking together in a different way, but it's my favorite food nanny, Lizzie, how are you? Oh. I love you so much. I love you so much. So, uh, you make first, me happy. first of all, where's the cow? The cow's outside. Did you see the picture I posted today for Christmas? <laughs> You're going to go crazy. <laughs> Great. So, and remind me, people, that uh, each day you actually get out there and, and do what with the cow? Uh, twice a day, I am milking, milking the cow, milking the cow. <laughs> And yesterday I was making butter again. Did you watch it? Yes, it was it. So <laughs> I love it. I, I love Liz. You're awesome. So with me today, you're going to be doing uh, some fun, uh, kind of like little uh, me, little little dish that we could do for the whole family to yeah. enjoy. So our pretzels are so good, but I thought it would be fun for the holiday season to make it into a little Christmas wreath. Look at this. Look Can at you that. see it? Yeah. Ooh, that looks so, so good. So it's so easy. It's beautiful. Everybody's going to love it. And then just for fun, after you bake it, I put cranberries just to make it like decorative. But you're not going to eat it. But you don't have to do that either. It's cute either way. So, but it's just so fun and festive. I love it. And, and what's really great is the dough is made specially here so everybody can enjoy it, even those who might be, you know, a little afraid of a flower, right? Oh yeah, so our Kamu flour is the most superior white flour in the world. It's an ancient grain, it's never been genetically modified. It's known for taste, texture, digestibility. It has less gluten than any white flour and it just upgrades the taste of everything you do. So good. I love it, okay. All right. I love you. Let's get into making. Now I, I got the dough, okay. but I'm gonna, I, I think I did this wrong because I made it and then I wrapped it up, which I shouldn't have done, right? I like, I yeah, with the dough. You would just keep it like in your bowl, right? Okay. Until you were ready for it. And I feel like I've got flour in my eye. It's starting to water. I think I got something in my eye. Uh, all right. Okay. So okay. So you let the dough rise for an hour. You just mix it up. You can mix it by hand or you can mix it up in a kitchen aid. And then you divide out the dough. And I tell you how to do it in my recipe. So you divide the dough into about 10 to 12 sections just like you're about to make a normal pretzel. Okay. So going to roll over, you're gonna roll over. I've already done two here and you're gonna make them like into a long rope. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So you're gonna make this one into like another long rope. You're folding it over and then you're just rolling it out like a snake, a rope, whatever you wanna call it. Kind of like almost, you're playing with play no? I guess. I am. And then, do you got it? Do you have it? Yeah, let's see. Yes. There. Okay, there. Okay. okay. Right, oh, no, I got, so when you got all three rolled out, then put them in front of you like this. I feel like this is the easiest way to braid them. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not that far yet. Hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. I got to roll these and then... It's like a flower in um, you're, you're... How's that? Am I am I getting it right there? Amazing. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. You okay? So, Lizzie, that does not what? really look at yours and look at mine. Hold, look at yours. It's looking amazing. And look at mine. Stop it! You just shouldn't have rolled up your dough like that. I know. I. You should have just kept it in the bowl till you were ready, but it's okay. Well, you okay. know what? The, the problem I have is that we have this amazing Polish director, Michael, who was showing me how to to make the dough like his his mom used to make and stuff like that back in Poland, and so. Um, we, we Ooh, go. that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now take all three, look, and then connect them at the top. Okay. Do you see that? Okay. Like just pinch them together at the very top. Okay. okay? All right. All right, now we're going to start braiding. So take one of them over and cross. Do you know how to braid? Yep, I, I have a daughter. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now just continue to braid the whole thing all the way down. Okay. Yes, and then, and so, wow, that does look like how my daughter's hair would look leaving out the house after I did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. my eyes seem so crazy. Okay, oh, see, so then, look, look at mine, look at that. 
Look, it's great. So okay. you're just going to keep braiding, and then you're going to wrap around to like make it like a wreath. Okay. It, wrap it around, and then you would just pinch it together again. Okay? And okay. then you've got wreath. You've got your wreath right here. And then what makes the pretzel a pretzel is you have to put it in the baking soda bath. Okay. So I don't know if you have that. But you have four cups of hot water, a half a cup of baking soda, and then you dunk it in, right? Just like this. And then you would have a cookie sheet. Okay. But you want to make sure that you get all the water off of it. You got to make sure. And then you get a cookie sheet, you spray it. Let me pull this over. And then you're going to add our French salt. That's what makes it so good right before you bake it. Oh. And then you would just bake it. So simple. That's it. So simple good. And, and you have all these recipes ready to go for everyone, don't you? Yes. In my cookbook, For the Love of Kamut, I have all the recipes written for the flour because it's a little bit more dense than a normal all-purpose flour. But you can use it in everything that you do. You just have to go under. So, yeah, I've got my book. Have you made anything? Did you make the bread yet? I, I tried. And so let's just remember, you're a winner when you try. But put it this way, <laughs> for some reason, some reason I'm using it as a doorstop right now. Uh, so <laughs> it came out. Oh, my. I'm it, flying back out there, and I'm going to make bread with you. Yeah, That's it. It came out yeah. very, uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it's a, it's a, it was very hard. I don't know what oh. I did. I don't know what I did wrong. Did I leave it too oh. long? Is that what I did? I'm what? Did I leave it in too long or something, or, or what did I do? No, you added way too much flour. Yeah, probably. I'm a guy, you know. I was, I was just kind of like, I was trying to be, you know, like, you know, de -de 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 <laughs> and maybe I did too much. <laughs> so, it, it, so I'm coming back. I'm coming back to show you how to do the bread. You it's have so good. to. You Bye. have to. All right. Let me let me ask you this. I don't know. I know you have a camera on. I know I got to wrap it up or anything. But is the cow nearby that you can actually pull the camera off and walk out to the cow or no? Are we not? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you can walk. Yeah. She's going to go to the cow. Let's go. See okay. if we can take the camera off. You want me to really go outside? Do yes. you think it's going to work? So while you're doing that, tell people where they can find out more about, of course, the uh, Kamut and about your book. Okay. So I have an Instagram, the Food Nanny. And the foodnanny.com, I literally teach you how to cook every single day. Okay. I still... Is it working? Yeah, it's working. So let's... let's it go. is? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going out. We're going out. Look, right here. Oh my God. Look at all the snow. Yeah, we've got a lot of snow. Look, there's Fanny and Moose. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> Come here, Fanny. Come say hi to Brad. Oh, she's coming to you. Oh, look at her. She's the best cow. That is awesome. We're trying to get her pregnant right now. I don't know if you missed that, but we're trying to get her pregnant again. We had to do, we, we've had to almost do like in vitro over here. So she's trying to get pregnant with a girl this time. Look at the baby moose. Okay. Well, you see him? You know what? I, the show just turned into a, a learning show uh, for the kids at home. Uh, so. Oh, well, I could teach you everything that you need to know. I mean, we're trying to get her pregnant. It's getting crazy over here. Huh. See, thank you very much. I'm looking forward for you to coming back, but I'm looking forward to talking to you in the new year. And I'm going to cook. I can't some wait. Have the best Christmas. I love you. Get out of the cold. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you.